They say a story about Rav Khan Wasserman. He was coming from Europe and he needed to collect money for his yeshiva back in Europe and he ended up in a hotel not too far from the yeshiva of Torah Vadas. So they send a, uh, a bucker to go and help him and escort him throughout the city to help him get around and collect the money that he needs to collect. And the rabbi was on the third floor of this hotel. The bucker comes and knocks on the door, the rabbi comes out and he says, okay, come, I'm going to show you around. They were speaking in Yiddish because the rabbi just came from Europe, he doesn't understand English. And as they walk towards the elevator, the rabbi turns to the student and says, excuse me, but can you please tell me, how do you say in English, thank you? So he says, you know, in English, I believe it's shkoyach. So he says, how do you say thank you? He says, thank you, in English. And the rabbi keeps repeating the words, thank you, thank you. And finally the elevator arrives. And the, both the man and the, the bacher and the rabbi both get into the elevator. And the elevator man presses the button for them. They say lobby, and they're going down. And the rabbi says, thank you. They get to the bottom floor. The door is open. And the bacher walks out, and he's walking, he thinks the rabbi is following him. He realizes the rabbi is not by his side. He turns around, he sees the rabbi is still in the elevator. He runs back and says, Rabbi, what are you still doing here? We're ready to go. This is our floor. Maybe the rabbi was confused, maybe he wasn't sure if we arrived. We're here, we could now leave the elevator. The rabbi says, no, I'm not sure if I said it right. He said, what right? I'm not sure if we said the words, thank you, right. Did I say it right? Thank you? He says, you said it excellent. Did they understand me? Did you understand what I was saying? Thank you. The man cannot leave an elevator until he doesn't say thank you for somebody who did what for him? who pushed the button for him. And if this is the Hakar Tatsov that we should have somebody who pushed the button for us, how much more so do we have Hakar Tatsov to people who did so much more for us? Whether it's our parents, whether it's our relatives, whether it's whoever it is that we come across who did something good for us, we should show and surely say thank you. Make sure to notice the good that other people do for you. That's what Hakar Tatsov is. To notice the good that people do for you. To not neglect it and look aside but realize, wow, he did. He went out of my, his way for me. She did something for me that was so nice. I, I'm not going to ignore that. I'm going to notice that. And that's what Hakar Tatsov is really all about. Noticing the good that people do for us.